hello hello and merry christmas everybody thank you so much for joining me i want to let you know we have worked all year to get our ebay average sales price up so we ended last year at about 30 dollars and the last three weeks have been insane so we have had over thirteen thousand dollars sold in three weeks we are almost at eighteen thousand dollars for the month and i am going to show you only the high dollar what sold in this video there are over five thousand dollars in sales that have sold in the last three weeks that are all over fifty dollars so if you're wanting to increase your average sales price, you want to find stuff that sells for more money on eBay, let's go. All right, so for the time period I'm showing you, our average sales price was actually $53, which is $20 higher than what we did last year. So what I want to do is show you exactly what sold so that you can look out for these items. A lot of these items were very, very low buy cost and brought us a lot of money. Very happy with this. Hoping this will continue. Going to focus on higher dollar sales for sure. A little bit more than I did last year. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first up, this actually just sold. This is a vintage crab bracelet. This bracelet was not marked. It was made of brass. It was artisan constructed. I paid $2 for this and it sold for $45 plus $5.80 in shipping. I made about a $38 profit on this and it sold in under a month. That is another thing in this video that you're going to see most of this stuff was very, very fast selling and definitely high profit. I do a Dalton would like to say hi to the people. Say hello. Tell them hello. Can you tell them Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Next up is this vintage Halcyon Days egg. This one was from 1990. It was an Easter edition and I paid $10 for this. So this is about a $30 profit. I do want to show you here, if you were to find one of these eggs at like an estate sale or a thrift store and they were not in the box, this shows you that when you open the egg up on the inside, it says Halcyon Days. So you would easily be able to look it up. And typically they have a year or something on them where you can try to find comps that are close. And then perfectly fitting for a Christmas Eve video. This is a Santa Claus throw blanket. It is not branded. I picked it up for $3.99 and it sold for $36.76 plus the buyer paid $15 in shipping, making this about a $28 profit. Throw blankets are one of my absolute favorite things. You can typically find them for three to five dollars at the thrift store and at estate sales and a lot of them can be worth $35 plus dollars so they definitely bring a really good return on investment up next this is a vintage monet brooch super small super easy to photograph and list and definitely easy to ship so this one i am about five dollars in it sold for fifty dollars plus the buyer paid 580 in shipping this one was listed for about two months so not really really long and I could not find the same brooch anywhere. So I'm going to show you here on the back. This is where it says Monet. So this is what you would need to look for when you're outsourcing. This brooch is just big. It's flashy. Using signed in there, using vintage. Those are both really, really good keywords. So definitely pay attention to all of the titles as we go along through this list. That way you pick up some things that you might use on your own listings. Next is a lot of two Sandisk compact flashcards. Feel like you would find these at like estate sales and even thrift stores pretty cheap. The compact flashcards are not overly used, at least to my knowledge anymore. I bought a camera thinking I would switch to using a camera for my eBay photos and 
I never even opened the cards. So I don't remember what I paid for these, but they sold for $48.99, plus the buyer paid five in shipping. So look for that older technology stuff, like these compact flash cards and new sealed items. You should be able to check them by simply scanning the barcode. And then we have another throw blanket, another one I paid $3.99 for. This one has butterflies all over it. Again, it is unbranded. This one sold for $45. This one did take about four to five months, so it did take a little bit longer to sell, but it was so bright and vibrant. It had the butterflies. I knew that it would sell. Your animal stuff will sell no matter what it's on, be it a throw blanket, a plate, pottery, jewelry, whatever. Just remember that animal stuff sells and this one was about a $38 profit. Next is the first of higher dollar Longa Burger baskets. I know a lot of you told me that you cannot sell Longa Burger baskets. The key to the Longa Burger baskets is finding the ones that are a little more rare, ones that are from particular series. This one I actually could not find comps on and I might have priced this too low. So all in all on my Longa Burger baskets, I spent close to $600, but... I got over 60 baskets. So I figured it out and I'm about $8 in per basket. This one sold for $47.59. Plus the buyer paid $9.30 in shipping and this one sold in a day. One day for a Longa Burger basket. So make sure that you are keeping an eye out if they have different colors. Honestly, if they're cheap, I would pick up any Longa Burger basket, but if they're asking like five to $10 or more, then I would want to find that exact basket and look up comps. Next is another crab brooch. So this crab brooch is signed MV. I was not able to figure out who MV was, but I put that it was signed MV. I put that it had a green stone. I simply am describing it so that when people are looking for particular things, they will find it. I paid $2 for this brooch and it sold for $60. Plus the buyer paid $580 in shipping, making this over a $50 profit in less than two months. Next is a thrift store buy. This one I paid $3 for at my little local thrift store. It is a vintage Pittsburgh Steelers jean jacket. Team stuff sells. Remember, there are collectors, there are fans, people buy stuff for gifts if their loved ones have a special team. And this one sold for $62.99, plus the buyer paid $9.30 in shipping. This one is going to be about a $55 profit. And then we have this Murano Latticino Bowl. I got this at my last auction buy. I am about $20 well, $15. I paid I paid 50 for three bowls, so probably like $17.77. Sold for $69.30 in two two days, guys. Two days. And the buyer paid $7.95 in shipping. So this one is going to be about a again about a $38 profit because I did pay up for that. And that is one of the things that I am learning and having to come to cope with. If you have watched me for any amount of time, you know I love buying stuff for a dollar. I like getting it cheap and it's nice to get that 10, 20, 30 times return. But now I'm starting to look a little more at the bigger picture and that is making more dollar profit, which means I'm not going to get that 10 times my money a lot of times, but the dollar amount is going to be more. And then this Fenton Fairy Lamp. I picked this up at my little local flea market. I paid $15 for it. It sold for $71.39 plus the buyer paid $8.80 in shipping. So this one is going to be about a $45 profit and it sold in under two weeks. Watch for Fenton stuff, especially the hand painted. Again, keywords, find exact comp. This one I was able to put in Fenton Poinsettia Fairy Lamp and I found a couple of exact comps. I also saw what it was selling for. Now, the key to mine here was that 
I actually had it with the original box as well as the paperwork. So that made it a little more valuable than those that did not have that. So really fast sale, really pretty lamp. And take note that a lot of these items sold when it was too late for them to get them for Christmas presents. So I think they are collectors that are buying them. Next is some jewelry. This is a Carolyn Pollock ring that I got at Renninger's in Mount Dora. So I love the fact that I'm learning the jewelry. I can pick it up by sight. So I was looking through trays and trays of sterling. This one stood out to me. I did pay $20, but it sold in less than a month for $77.99, making it close to a $45 profit. Now I am going to show you here, if you were to find this, on the back here, it says CP, which is Carolyn Pollock. And it also says 925 up at the top, a little harder to see because of the shadow. But the CP is Carolyn Pollock's like kind of standard. And I was able to find this exact ring using Google Lens. So make sure that you have tools to use in order to get these bigger sales in your business. One of them is definitely Worth Point. I used Worth Point on quite a few things in this video that you are going to see that I priced for 100 or 200 more than I would have. Honestly, one of them I probably priced at $400 higher than I would have. So definitely, I have a link below if you would like to check out Worth Point. They keep 15 years of history in their database which is amazing because a lot of these items are not on eBay now or in the last 90 days or even in the last year so I like having that tool because I find enough items that it is definitely worth it for me. Next is this vintage master's belt. I paid one dollar for this at a thrift store. This one did take about four months to sell and it sold for $73 plus the buyer paid $9.30 in shipping. This one is over a $63 profit. And if you don't already know, master stuff is absolutely amazing. Doesn't really matter what it is. If you see the master's logo on something, I would pick it up if it is cheap. And then this is another Halcyon Days trinket box. So this one I paid $10 again. It did take about six to eight months. Not really fast selling, but I am okay with waiting. It sold for $85 plus the buyer paid $580 in shipping. So this one is about a $65 profit after fees. And also I didn't say at the beginning, I normally say at the beginning of the video, all of these items you are seeing were sold by it now. I do not do a lot of auctions. I actually have six auctions up right now because I have some Gucci shoes that are not in great condition. So I figured I'd put it up, let the market take it where it will, and I start at the lowest price I was willing to take. I don't really start my auctions low because if an auction's a really short period. So you're basically just hoping either it's popular enough that people are going to come and bid or that the right person happens to find it. But really with an auction, you need two right people to find it because you want them to fight for that price to go up. Next is another crab brooch. There are going to be a lot of them. I had one order that was over $1,500. So this is a Coro Craft. This one is pink and I had to use Worth Point to find it. There were no other ones listed on eBay. One, again, $2 in, $2 into these crab brooches that you are going to see quite a few coming up. This one sold for $70 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. So this one is over a $60 profit. Up next is a Halcyon Days trinket box. This one is Catherine and William. This one sold in less than a week. I paid about $20 for this. Well, 15 to 20, 15 to 20. I got two Catherine and William Halcyon Days boxes on auction and this one sold for $87.14. And like I said, it sold really, really fast. And this one is going to be over a $60 profit. Next is a vintage Royal Albert teacup. This is a 1994 Lady Ascot pattern. Pick this up at my little local flea market. I paid $20. They did have it marked at $25. I asked them if they would take $20. They said yes. And it sold for $89.99 in two days. It sold really, really 
fast. So this one is going to be over a $60 profit. I am going to show you, here's the bottom. So if you were at your flea market or Goodwill or wherever you were, this is what you would see on the bottom. It says the name of the pattern. It says that it's Royal Albert and you would be able to look it up and comp it really, really easy. And then do not be scared to pick up different stuff. This is a bolo tie. I picked this up in a online auction. It is sterling silver. It was actually handcrafted. It was signed by the artist. I don't know who the artist was, but I knew it was sterling. I knew it was different. It did take about four months to sell. I am less than $5 into this and it sold for $89.24 making it about a $75 profit. Watch for bolo ties. There are a lot of bolo ties that will sell for really good money. You're gonna see another one coming up here soon. So I have two in this video that sold for high dollar. Up next, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous hand-painted vase. This was actually sitting on my display shelf. I liked it that much. And I paid $5 for this at the thrift store and it sold for $58.79, making it about a $45 profit. This one did take a while. It took about eight months to sell. Next is the other bolo tie. So as you see, we are getting higher and higher in our prices of what sold. This one was a vintage Thunderbird. This one was not signed, was not marked. I picked it up for $20 at my local flea market and it sold for $100 plus the buyer paid $7.95 in shipping and it sold in a week. One week, one week. Really, really, really fast. And this is going to be about a 70 a little bit under $70 profit after fees. Watch for Native American, watch for turquoise, watch for bolo ties. There's a lot of money there. Next are some antlers. If you see antlers and you have antlers out where you are, like where I'm at is very, very big kind of rural area. There's a lot of hunting done. These antlers were from a Saika deer and they sold for $100 plus the buyer paid shipping. And these sold in about three months. So what happened with these is I actually bought the whole taxidermy piece, but it was in really poor condition. The hair was falling out. It was absolutely disgusting. I wanted it out of my shed. I asked Brad to cut the antlers off. We threw the rest of it away and the antlers sold. I paid $40 for the piece. So we still made about a $45 profit, even with throwing away most of it. So as Commonwealth picker, my good friend Kevin would say, when in doubt, part it out. And then this one was unsigned. If I did not use Google Lens along with WorthPoint to price it, I probably would have only priced this about $30, okay? This one I identified as a Hattie Carnegie pen using Google Lens. I used WorthPoint to look up comps. And this one sold for $104.99 in less than a month. Plus the buyer paid eight in shipping. I paid $2 again two dollars and this is over a eighty dollar profit on a crab brooch there are a lot more coming and there are a lot of really really high dollar ones so stay tuned cat here sorry to interrupt this video if you have not already please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Share with your friends. Hit that subscribe button and you can click the bell. Turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when I make more content like this. I greatly appreciate you watching. Sorry for interrupting. Let's get back to the video. Next, this is a vintage framed uh, Thai Cambodian stone rubbing. So I picked this up at a thrift store. I paid $10 for it and it sold for a hundred plus the buyer paid $26.50 in shipping. It is big. It was 26 by 28 and this one took about six months to sell. So it did take a little bit longer, but it's still about an $80 profit. I am not scared of the big art pieces. Art can be a lot of money. I'm hoping to learn a lot more about art this year. That way I can get more high dollar sales. Next is a Tiffany Apple. This is Elsa Peretti. 
and this one I paid about $30 for sold for $120 in under a month so this one's about a $75 profit after fees and it sold really fast Tiffany's stuff is definitely high dollar there are some lower ones so don't think that every single Tiffany piece that you find is going to be good money because it is not now I found a Tiffany I think it was a paperweight now they wanted $30 for it and it actually was only selling for $30 on eBay so you want to be really really careful thinking that they are all high dollar because in every category and every name brand there's still going to be stuff that is not high dollar next was a bad buy for me um not horrible not horrible i did not lose money i did pay 70 dollars for this yadro figure sold in less than a week for a hundred so i still made about a 20 dollar profit so pretty low but when i comped when i put my notes in i thought this would sell for about 300 and then when i went to list it i realized i was wrong and that is a time in your business when you need to stop you need to say okay i paid too much for this don't go and try and price it a lot higher because you paid more because the fact of the matter was that the market was not going to give me that much and so i priced it right somebody sent me a hundred dollar offer i took it and it sold in two days next is this christmas tree so i picked this christmas tree up at my little local flea market for twenty dollars the vendor actually made it herself about 20 years ago which was really really cool and it sold for $119 and I think it was like three days it sold really really fast and the buyer did pay $13.65 in shipping so this one is going to be about a $90 profit after fees and sold really fast if you do not know yet the vintage christmas trees will sell year round i sold some in july i think they will sell year round so if you find vintage ceramic christmas trees while you are outsourcing for a good price i would pick them up i would list them immediately you could list them high and either let them sit until christmas or hope that somebody loves them enough to pay your price up next these i picked up at a garage sale i paid ten dollars for them they are a pair of replicas of i think it was 1700s barn lamps and like i said they are replicas they are not original i paid ten dollars they sold for 107 eight 107 dollars and eight cents so they were about an 85 dollar profit after fees and they sold in about eight months they did take a little bit longer some of this stuff will take a little bit longer but for that much profit i am okay with letting it sit here and i was able to identify those because they did have a brochure with them that actually told me exactly what they were next is this men's movado watch so i got this at a garage sale and this was kind of a botched purchase i guess you could say they had it marked at 100 it had a 999 dollars price tag i offered them 80 they accepted i took it to my jeweler because when i got it out of the box there were some kinks in the band and the jeweler could not get the kinks out well brad finally got the kinks out himself here at home but the jeweler also tried to put a new battery in this watch and said it didn't work so i had to sell this watch for parts or repair it was very very clear in the title and it sold for 150 dollars. so i still made 60 65 dollars on it but i was expecting to get about 600 i typically wouldn't put out 80 dollars to make 60. i at least would like to double or triple my money if i'm putting out a high dollar amount the death pile item of the month this was sitting on the back seat of my husband's truck i only paid 40 dollars for this it sold in under two weeks after listing it my husband finally got tired of it being in the truck brought it in set it on my counter i listed it and it sold for 150 dollars plus the buyer paid 1705 in shipping so this one is about a 90 95 dollar profit for cookware check your model numbers because this one really did not have that many used listed and the new ones were going for over four hundred dollars so there is always like a model number on your appliances and you can look them up so in this case it was worth paying up that forty dollars because it was going to sell for quite a bit of money
and then there is this Yadro figurine. So I paid, I want to say about 40 for her. I did not pay much for her. She was my last Yadro to sell before I just got in the new ones. And she sold for an offer of $250 plus the buyer paid $880 in shipping. So she is close to a $200 profit. So Yadro is one of those. There are some lower selling pieces, but if you find the right ones and the auctions that I have found have all been high dollar ones you want again use Google Lens use Worth Point to look up find the history of what those items are selling for I have a Yadro listed right now for over four thousand dollars and I have the only one and the only way I knew how to price that was by using Worth Point and I know I've said Worth Point a lot in this video but I feel that worth point is essential to me pricing these high dollar items right. And it's, I think I pay like 21 or $23 a month and I make that pricing one item appropriately and being able to see the history of what it is sold for. Next, this is a Chinese King Dynasty Kingfisher like it this one actually it was a pen but the pen piece broke off so it's actually just exactly what you see and i am less than five dollars into this piece so this is over a 220 dollar profit this one did take about six months to sell actually maybe about four about four months but when i first got this lot two of them sold in under a month so these pens have made me hundreds and hundreds of dollars another crab brooch and we are getting ready to get into a lot because i sold a lot of high dollar ones so with this one as well as the ones coming up i am going to show you the hallmark stamps on the back so if you are out looking at jewelry you will know what some of these higher dollar ones are this is a christian dior crab brooch beautiful beautiful brooch you can see on the back where it says christian dior and this one sold in under a month for 260 dollars plus the buyer paid 7.95 in shipping making this one over a 220 dollar profit i paid two dollars i bought these in big crab lots and this is where it's taking a gamble but it's not a bad gamble and i say that because i paid two dollars a piece so even though i couldn't see the markings they were actually all in plastic bags so i couldn't even really see the brooches that good but i knew i could get like 10 to 15 dollars for a crab brooch whether it was branded or not so i took a chance if i would have known all these high dollar ones were mixed in i would have been harder i think i lost seven or eight lots and i won seven or eight lots so when i'm looking at lots i'm thinking the lowest dollar amount that i could get so i see these crab brooches i'm thinking okay 10 to 15 dollars a piece okay i'll go to two bucks a piece and that's how i got them so watch out for lots because there's a lot of money in them and then this one is absolutely gorgeous this is a florenza brooch and earring set i picked up at my little local flea market i paid 20 dollars for these they were asking 25 i did look them up on ebay to comp them i will show you here on the back they are stamped florenza they are really really easy to search again there are some lower price florenza but what i do is i go to sold i sort by highest price and then these actually i didn't find brooch and earring sets but i found i think i found a bracelet and brooch set there were a couple of sets that sold for over 200 dollars, so i priced mine high and sold in less than two weeks and it is over a 200 dollar profit up next this brooch was probably I felt the most stunning crab brooch that I had. This is a vintage signer brooch. Very, very blingy. Very, very like just sparkly. It's very sparkly. So this one, I found some signer crab brooches, but there were none this color. So I'm gonna show you here up closer just how blingy this really was. And again, use worth point to comp it priced it i think i had it priced at 350 this buyer offered me 300 
I accept it. Again, I am $2 in to this brooch. This is well over a $250 profit. You can see here on the back, it says signer. That is how I was able to look it up. It is very simple to look this stuff up if you find it while you're out and see what it is selling for. Swarovski piece. So I actually, I thought I paid 120 for these, but when I went back and looked at my invoice, I actually only paid $85 Plus I paid about 15 in shipping. So I'm about $100 in, but this one sold in less than two months for $270. So it's gonna be about $135 profit after fees. And I wanna show you here because not all Swarovski is signed. All Swarovski will have the swan marking on them. Not all of it is signed. So this one was signed by the artist, which I believe makes it a little more valuable Again with the animals, a beautiful sea turtle scene, sold really fast and was a great profit. Next is another Coro crab brooch. So you saw the pink one earlier and the pink one didn't sell for that much. And that's when comping your exact item comes into some serious play. This blue crab brooch I saw sold on Worth Point for $300. I had mine priced at about, I think, $350, and they sent me an offer of $314.99. You see on the back here, it does say Coro. It is not a stamp, though. It's actually etched into the back, which, again, I believe makes it a little more valuable. So this one sold for $314.99. I paid $2, $2, $2. These crab brooches have absolutely blown my mind and have been amazing. So this one is about over a $250 profit and it sold in under a month. The other turtle, there were two turtles. One sold for $270, the other sold for $325. So again, $100 in about $175 profit on this one. With the Swarovski, from what I've seen, the smaller pieces that are clear crystal are not typically worth much. Now, if they're Disney characters, then it might be a little different ball game. But if you find Swarovski that is multicolored, or if it is a larger piece such as this one, they typically sell very high. And I have this year and last year made a lot of money off Swarovski items. There are two of these and this is up near the top of the list because this order was a $450 order. It sold in less than two days. This was part of my auction haul I just picked up with all the Longa Burger and the Yadro. These were little glass vases. They were probably about five and a half inches. They were signed. So on the auction, when I was watching the auction, it said signed. It didn't say by who. I was able to zoom in and I'm gonna show you the signature here. I'm actually gonna show you the signature on both. So this one sold for $198. It was signed Michael Gazzardo. I was able to read that. I have learned on the glass stuff, typically the signatures you can read. Now, when it comes to pottery, <laughs> That's a whole different story. But with glass, I have been able to read probably 90% of the signatures and figure out who they are. So I paid $150 for three pieces from Michael Gazzardo. This one sold for $198. So it is over 100, about $120 profit and again sold in under two days. And then the other one, this one, I felt like the colors and the swirls were worth a little bit more. So I priced this one up. It was priced at $232.08. And again, I paid 50, but this one's about $150 profit. Here is the bottom. Again, you can read his signature. And the highest comp on Worth Point prior to this vase was $199 in 2019. If I only looked at the comps on eBay, the highest that had sold was $125. But I felt like these pieces were worth more. Again, here is the signature, really easy to see, and beautiful, beautiful art glass pieces. And this one went to that same buyer, again, less than two days, so well over a $300 profit between the two vases. All right, are you ready for the highest sale of the last three weeks? This one sold in under a month, and if you've already guessed, this one is a crab brooch. So this one is Marcel Boucher, and I paid $2. Two, 
two dollars for this two dollars sold for four hundred and fifty dollars plus the buyer paid shipping shipping amount is not correct because this buyer bought six of these high dollar crab brooches it was a fifteen hundred dollar order i have received positive feedback she is extremely happy with it so here is the back of this one where you can see it is marked boucher again use worth point this one sold for 450 and right at a month and it is about a four hundred dollar profit paid two bucks two dollars so these were all found on online auctions not all all the crabs were found on online auctions and probably 75 percent of these items were found on online auctions so speaking of online auctions tomorrow on christmas yes i am crazy but we do most of our christmas today so after i do this video we are heading to family's house to hang out and we open all the gifts on christmas eve so tomorrow on christmas the festivities will be done like mid-afternoon and i'm doing a sourcing live and i look for stuff for you in your local area so if you've not checked that out it's a nine dollar and 99 cents membership and i look for stuff like this just for you in your area so i hope you enjoyed this it was well over five thousand dollars in sales almost eighteen thousand dollars for the month the best month of 2021 i am excited looking forward to 2022 i'm gonna put out kind of a year-end wrap up in a video soon for you so look forward to that i'll go over some goals go over what we accomplished this year i hope you guys have a very very merry christmas and a good new year if i don't see you before then dalton would you like to say bye yeah okay Dalton would like to tell you goodbye. Oh, stay tuned too. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Dalton is going to open his presents that you sent him following this. Bye. Blow kiss. Bye guys. Merry Christmas. All right, everyone. I promised you that Dalton would open his Christmas presents for a video. So we have got four gifts here. And two of them are not marked. I know one is from Lisi, but I don't know which one. Yes. Do you? What do you want to say for them sending you presents? Thank you. All right. Which one would you like to open first? No, I already told you this one. You already told me that one. Okay. So we'll take the card off. See what the card says while you're opening. Uh -huh. And this one says, Dear Dalton, my grandson loves his gears. I hope you like and play with them. Please don't turn this into a frog. Love, Zoe from Shayla Rives. All right. Can you pull, pull this string to open the bag? Pull it. Oh, pull this string. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now can you open the bag? Pull this to open it and then look in the bag. My story. What uh, is it? It's a, my story. It's a new okay, story. here, push the bag down. What are those? Uh, yeah. Those are called gears. Yeah. Look, here, look at the picture. Hold, pull the bag down. Oh, look. You can build some cool stuff. Do you see those? Yeah. But I already opened it. Why don't we open the other presents and then we'll open it to build stuff. Here. Open this one next. Yeah. This one says to Dalton from the people. Oh. So this one might be from Lisey or someone else. We did not get a note with two of these. Okay, tear the paper off. Rip it off. Can you help me? Yeah, I can help you. Oh, we got to take the tape off. Oh, what is that? My 
Yeah, Is it a bat? Yeah, it's for me. And what, look, oh, there's balls to hit. Hold on. You want these? I think are better for outside. I got the one. Hold on. You want to open the other two? Yeah. Okay. These are for outside. Yeah, but this is the last one. No, you got one, two more. I got the paper. Okay. It says, to Dalton from blank. Mm -hmm. All right, open your papers. Yeah, let's see you do with paper. Let's see what paper. Am I in your toy? Woo! Mom, I, it's my new toy. What is it? It's a robot puppy. Oh. That's just what I wanted. That is what you wanted. Yeah. That's not for outside. No, that's for inside. Do you like that? Yeah, but... No. That's so good. Okay, let's see what else you got. This one says... Let's read it. It says, To Dalton from Miss Linda. It says, enjoy your your gift. Oh, what? Well, what? Oh, wow. It's, is it, look, it's rocks you can paint. Yeah, we probably should paint outside. No. What do you say? Thank you. Do you want to tell them Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas.